Are you going to use that 100 bucks to get a new Xbox? No, no uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little break. Take a little break. Focus up. For a yeah, bit. couldn't take a break without smashing it, though. No, nope. Welcome back to the Madoyance of Friends podcast. This is episode 52. You remember uh, that, that guest we promised? We promised a guest. We did know, promise a guest. Episode 49, we promised a guest. 52? 52. Here. Boom. So this is like episode 50. This is yeah, the big yeah. one. So This was the big surprise. Uh, you know, you've been rocking with me and Mike recently. As always, thank you very much. Like and subscribe the whole nine. Today, we have very special guests, Jacob the Colonel Blaze. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Dude, very good. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so as you can see, Blaze the Colonel. Has, uh, KFC, dude. Do you, I don't know. You a big fan of KFC yourself? Yeah, so, I mean, the whole fried chicken and donuts thing started with uh, me just, Look closer. Me just um, you know, mocking, mucking about, mucking about and uh, saying it all, you know, to all the boys. And then I you know, wanted to go get it one day, and I sat in line in the drive-thru and actually pulled away because I, I couldn't bring myself to get it. To but, getting the fried chicken and donuts? I, if we could actually get it someday and I could make a reappearance, that would be great. Um, I mean, if, do they still sell chicken and donuts at no KFC? We, have to make it we can make it a separate vlog. Um, we can make yeah. but, uh, Ooh, that'd be good. The KFC near my house, closest on Post Road. Closed uh, down, you know, Closed down, unfortunately. <sighs> Bro, how about um, the fact that every good fast food joint that was on Post Road closed down? Yeah. Taco yeah, Bell, uh, fast food, Pier Pizza, Pizza Hut. I worked at Pier Pizza. They, they Taco shut Bell was down. never there. Yeah, it was. Um, really? yep. uh, Walter's Roast Beef is still a staple. Yeah. Um, which hasn't nice. renovated at all. Um, no, never. But, still serving cardboard, but we love it. The sad thing is that uh, you, uh, they promised. Apparently, the guy at the Seasons Gas Station, you know, who I talk to all the time, he told me that a McDonald's and a Cumberland Farms are going across the street. So Lovely. That, that's a possibility. But yeah, well, KFC. The K. So one, big news out of KFC. Besides the chicken and donuts, obviously they've been doing a lot of different stuff. KFC's making moves. Big moves. Mo- big moves. Michael, would you like big to tell moves. them what the big moves are? So they just recently announced, you know. Um, with, the, with the holidays and the the PS5 and, and the, the Xbox. Xbox coming out, KFC decided, hey, we need to make some big moves. Big boy moves. So know what they did? They made a KFC console. The KF you know, console. The KF like, console. What is it like? What is it, like no. a jacked-up computer, basically? No, it's basically, like a... It's more powerful than the PS5 and has a built-in chicken chamber to keep your meal warm. It's an air fryer with a gaming system. So you How open, much is it, $800? I have no idea, but think... F- yeah, people, know. listen to what we're saying. That's KFC absurd. made That's a absurd, video game console. That's absurd. And not only did they make but a video game console... But it'll keep your chicken warm, your fried chicken and donuts. <laughs> your donuts. Your donuts. Your donuts. <laughs> They say it will run 4K resolution at 240 frames per second, more than the <laughs> PS5 or Xbox One can That's manage. absolutely insane. It will also run virtual reality games. No, that's, games. that's stupid. VR games? games? Yeah, yeah, I feel like they're just stupid. over-promising. And they're stupid, just like, stupid, You actually stupid. thought we were serious? It's, it's a, it looks like an air fryer. Yeah. Like, you just looks like an air fryer. And what uh, games is it going to run? Like, the, it's is it going to yeah. be KFC... Proprietary like games, throwback games on there, like you know, fucking Doom, Mario 64. Tomb Raider, Mario but it's 64. the Colonel. Like every game that they have is just, just a remake a of other games, but the corner, the Colonel. Colonel. You, you shoot, you shoot drumsticks, <laughs> yeah, yeah. or it's like uh, Crash Bandicoot, like a gravy cannon, Crash Bandicoot, and you're just the Colonel. Yeah, but uh, all the coins are drumsticks. In all oh seriousness, God. though, in oh. corn chicken, besides KFC, yeah, right now list top three fast food joints for you. So my question is, do you count like Chick Fil A? Yes. Or obviously any, Chick-fil-A. any place that you can drive up to a window and or walk so, into and walk out with a sandwich. So Chipotle is that fast food? Fast food, really? For me, mm. I don't count Personally, it. Personally, fast yes, casual. Dining, it's fast casual. Yeah. But all right, so just all right. Let's do the big. If it's got to drive, it's got to drive. All right, so McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, In and Out. Yeah, all those. White Castle. All right. Yeah. So the two we don't have. Give me your give me your top threes. Go ahead. McDonald's is obviously number one. A drive through, I would say. Chick Fil A's number two, Oof, and really? then Popeyes. Yep, yep. Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna go McDonald's personally. Popeyes second. Wow, that sandwich I love is, Chick-fil-A. is dummy good. Um, yeah, and then, you know, I will throw Wendy's on there. Yeah, you're because Sonic. Dude. Yo, Sonic is not as good not as, as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, it's definitely big hype. Big hype. Okay, have they you been? They say that with In yes. and Out too. 
It's either like you like it or I got it's a hot dog there one time and it was not well. No. Well, you got a hot dog, bro. All right. Yeah. No, but Sonic is like, if they're, you want some crazy dessert, if you want some yeah. crazy dessert, sure, go to Sonic. I've always wanted to try those slushies. They have so many bro. flavors. Yeah. Um, they have so many so that's just different three. items. I said Wendy's. Uh, Wendy's is, is, is growing for bro, me. I never used to like stupid it. Stupid now. Their chicken is good, dude. Like, yeah, they have yeah. good chicken. Um, So I'd say for me, yep. besides being the colonel and saying one is KFC. Well, KFC's uh, not in my top yeah, three. But um, I'd say, yeah, McDonald's. I'll hop on the McDonald's bandwagon. Um, it's just, and it's then two, just been doing two it for, for so me would have to be Wendy's. Okay. And then three, I have um, really, really, really wanted to go to uh, White Castle. Yeah. Like have you ever had it? I haven't had it. So I, instead of that, I'll say. I bought it from the gas station and I got sick after. Yeah, that's the it's thing. Gross. The box you like, gotta get the you gotta cook me. them with like you gotta take the buns out, put them like in a pan with butter, and like take the burger. It's too much work for a frozen burger. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't have to do that. No, I I'd like, like to try. I would like to try a White Castle slider, especially because of the movie Fresh. Harold, Harold so and Kumar. Say but... My number three, sadly, is Taco Bell. Ooh, it's not my, sadly though, no. because yeah. Wendy's overtook. Like I'm a big Taco Bell guy, yeah. but like I feel like you're McDonald's, not getting the best thing every McDonald's, time. McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King are all interchangeable on your list. No, Burger King sucks ass. Really? I I'm, like not a hot take at all. Not I mean, a hot take okay, at all. Burger okay. King sucks ass. That's my end of my question. That, that's my little. Uh, yeah. No, I like that. I like, I like that. that. Just to start off, because I I always wonder. I always ask people, and I I bring back. I don't know if I can you mention. Uh, can I mention a movie specifically? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Morgan Spurlock, the um, Morgan Spurlock. The, uh, it's, uh, it's, I think that's his name. Um, it's uh, the you, he ate McDonald's for thirty days. Oh, oh uh, super size uh, me. Yeah, yeah. So that is an absolutely absurd movie. And if you were to do that again today, I bet it would be even worse, like tenfold with the ingredients oh, possibly yeah. they're putting in there. Um, but the sad thing as Uh-oh. well is you have all these Americans who are literally caught in a loop, of yeah. just buying, just buying. <laughs> Just buying that shit every day, so take a seat. We got a uh, we got a special. Uh, take Phil, a Phil, take, uh, take top, a take a seat, Phil. Phil. Top three fast food joints. Rattle them off. Bro, hang on, dude. Let me settle in. You haven't Shut even up, noticed. Dude. Shut up. <laughs> 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 top three fast food joints. You're on. You're on stream. Top three fast food. Three, two, Mike. one. Three, two, one. In a row. Top three fast food. We got McDonald's number one. Thank you. Wow. Yep. Um, Chick Fil A number two. Okay. Uh, number three. Uh, dun, 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 dun. <sighs> ah, spit it out, boy. It might, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Wendy's number. Wow. Ooh, all right. Wow, all pretty right. Con- pretty right. pretty consistent. Uh, pretty consistent. I I said McDonald's. That's a great list. Burke, what about you? That's it. That's a list. I I, I said, usually hate people because of their fast food list because they just automatically discount McDonald's and throw it off. Like it's so good. Yeah, it yeah. is so good. It, 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 that was a beautiful list. That's yeah. that's top McDonald's I've ever heard. Is the best, period. Like, Stop the best fooling period. yourself. That's what you said. Yeah. It is the best. It's just. It right. is. It's the it's the best. Uh, it's most consistent in terms of quality. Thank you. you. Have the most diverse menu when it comes to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No, Ooh. we're not even thinking about breakfast, yeah, dude. Uh, bre- I mean, bre- McDonald's breakfast, breakfast, in my personal opinion, breakfast. would the best. Down to number COVID. one, dude. Yeah, bro. Uh, I mean, you got McG- wait, number one menu item for McDonald's besides the double cheese. Uh, I had one on the way over here, by the way. Ten piece. No, just no. The nugs are ketchup chicken sandy. Uh, I do make make gang bang. Hold on, my hold friend. Let him go. Let him go. Um. I don't know, dude. I mean, uh, quarter pounder with cheese is up there, and I don't, a ba- bacon egg and cheese McGriddle is fire. Is up there. I'm a biscuit I mean, guy, but yeah, that's yes, fire. Bacon egg and cheese. You know what? You know what I find it's very overrated. I think a Big Mac's really overrated. Yes, but without all the shit on it. Well, it's without, just like it's just too much. It's too sure. much. Well, Phil, welcome, that's buddy. It. Welcome, happy Phil. To, happy to see you. Uh, that's it for the the, the fast no, food I overview. I know. I saw this commercial. And it was for anti sweat cream, cream, okay. anti sweat cream. So it was like, there was a there was anti sweat cream. There was actually um, a money back guarantee that if like, a money back if you sweat, then they'd give you your, your money back. So everyone like sweats. five times, I think. Everybody really? sweats. Like a, like five hundred percent. Everyone sweats. Exactly, but it's trying to make you stop sweat. So if you do sweat, they'll give you not only what you paid for, but, but five de- times, but five times the amount yes. you paid for it. That's. Honestly, like that would be it'd be perfect because you're ever in a situation where you start sweating and then you start getting nervous that you're sweating and you get so sweat, more. sweat more. <laughs> you perpetuate. It's just a never-ending cycle of sweat. But you know what would ease your mind? 
that you're getting five times your money back for, n- yeah, <laughs> for not working. Thing. And then you just buy it over and over and just keep getting your money so back. So my question was, what would happen if you put it all over your body? You just wouldn't you just, sweat. You just wouldn't sweat. Would you explode? No, would you there go, go through would your you head. Would you start leaking go at all go out of your head? sweating or would you start <laughs> no, leaking no, you, it would, or, or the when, cream would How never long be, did it last? The cream would never be distributed perfectly. For you to be able to not sweat, well, just, ev- just no, everywhere. I know, I know what you're saying, all but no. over my face. it would still so burst like through. How, it's porous. How, uh, it's porous. Yeah. It's, you're not. How long does it last for? Did oh, I'm say? not sure. Okay, because I was. But gonna I say, just go. Oh my God! What if you put it on? I don't know if it was like a. F- <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if it was like a five-hour long thing, and at like five hours, what do you guys you're just think like, about that <laughs> fucking uh, that van fucking exploding? What? You see that? a van in Christmas that exploded. Oh, oh, oh! In in Nashville, it was it was so news at work. It was so big. Dude, I, so, someone it, I saw uh, a video like fertilizer and shit. Or just, I have no idea. I saw a video of someone who panned from one end of the street and then just kept going and then just panned to the destruction. And yeah, it was it like, was, how are you even in the building you're in effect. right now? But bro, I mean, we don't have to get into it. I just thought that was absurd. Uh, had like a big fucking fart on the, <laughs> and on the fertilizer truck. And yeah, all the methane, all the methane just blew yeah. up the truck. Massive. Imagine, dude, uh, a know, fart yeah. just. To, Chipotle t- farts? You guys want to know something Pretty about bad. raw, too? But if dude. you were to be able to capture all of the methane from the cow shit, you'd be able to power the country. What? Easily. Very easily. Methane from cows is, is like, oh, way more way more carbon dioxide than cow. all of the vehicles <laughs> combined. Cap. Yeah. So. It just the cows? No, like, agriculture in general, including cows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely absurd. That's 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 a crazy fact for you. Yeah, they're, yeah, the, they're farts. That um, is so absurd. Wind power is actually pass, uh Green energy has actually surpassed a lot of major powerhouses now. Um, <laughs> you ever uh, you ever see that movie or like the especially the, uh, solar AI data surpassed oil in price. Wait, what are you talking about? Data surpassed oil. Data is more valuable today. Your name is more valuable than oil. All your social security, everybody added up, is more valuable in the United States than oil. Word. Dude, oh, you got these nice, you're wearing Crocs? Nice camo Crocs out here. Wow. Go Blaze. bring them up to the camera. No one can see that, dude. They're fire. They're camo Crocs. Phil's holding up invisible ah. shoes right now if no one can see. Well, yeah, they're camo, so yeah. you can't see them. Yeah. Dope. It'd be nice if you had worn w- shoes wonderful, inside. Wonderful Christmas present. Uh, um, dude, did you put them in sport mode? Yeah. <laughs> sport mode. Yeah, what's, what's sport Yo, what's can it? we talk about how Back to the Future predicted zip-up laces and Nike now has that? No, they didn't predict them. They, oh, they just made them. They made them. The air mags. Here. It's crazy that um, they're five Gs. Also, though. also, all of the shit having to do with uh, the World Series. The Cubs were in the World Series, if I'm correct. Uh, oh, oh, that was actually yeah, wild. That's wild. That is wild. Um, when and the, I always brought up the other day. I keep bringing up um, all the Trump shit and David, the, no Dave Trump Cronin. shit. <laughs> Cronin. How he's on the escalator. Oh, hold like on. This. Okay, we can talk about that. that, that the Simpsons, the Simpsons being, the traveler. Simpsons being future uh, predictors or time yeah, travelers. Dude, so there are way, way, way too many occurrences for where they predicted, to to, um, or for so, the, like the two-headed something. fish in China, the three-headed, multi-headed fish in China, that radioactive fish. How about the the um, the the nine eleven. Uh, 911 poster. Uh, no, it's a magazine. Magazine. In the back. It's like not. It's for nine dollars, and then the eleven. 11 yeah. Crazy. Uh, all this, all that shit. The is Simpsons. Wild. It makes you wonder with everything going on today with Corona, whether right. or not they, you know, they had something going yeah, on planned. The COVID. Do you even want to know at that point? No. No. It, it will ruin it's everyone's just life. Like, it's just like the conspiracy just like theories a, with like the uh, with the aliens. We've the been talking aliens about aliens and oh, dude, I'll get into some alien Beckley shit with you. El Gobekli, <laughs> Tepe, Gobekli Tepe is one of the oldest Boys. agricultural sites in the world. Oh, oh, back late, that Bill said go back late, that I know, but I'm just saying you keep going like agriculture and AI. Hey, like, hey, do the impression. We're total, uh, you're in the you're now. in a colonel costume. We're totally fucking around right now. Usually, the silverback gorilla is able to eat his meal and oh, dude. take care of his young. Tepe, the ancient On a stone. cool winter night, the polar bear dives deep down to <laughs> <get> his prey. <laughs> what, David Attenborough? Yeah. Dude, I'm an David absolute, Attenborough, a goat, and I am dude. 93 years old. <laughs> I have been discovering wildlife. He just starts saying random traveling facts about around Here, the Blaze, world. Blaze, <laughs> Blaze, just take the glasses off, and and now you're just David Attenborough. I am David Attenborough. <laughs> I live on 123 Smith Street in London. Yeah, in London. You see him driving off that back leg. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get the colonel outfit, by the way? Uh, your mother. Oh, my God. 
not appropriate. Not appropriate. Not appropriate. Not appropriate. Oh, come on. Oh, you know what we need to talk about? Seriously, you know, did you, get you know, that? no, no, no. You know what we really need to talk about? What? Why would you smash the Xbox? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you smash your Xbox? Yeah. So, Why? yeah. So basically, um, me and my roommate Gil got drunk. Yeah, we were drunk. Um, Beaming. Yeah, fifteen beers. You know, talking about career goals and um, put this over. Smash your Xbox. Yeah, basically, I'm at a point in my life where I can't be spending a lot of time on Xbox. You know. But I'm no more, to, no more Budweiser thirties. I'm trying to put it together, but um, so Gil basically told me he's like, yeah, I'll pay you a hundred bucks right now to smash the Xbox. <laughs> and he gave you a hundred dollars. Yeah, he gave me a hundred bucks. Are you gonna use that hundred bucks to get a new Xbox? No, I'm, no, uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little break. Take a little break. Focus up. For a yeah, bit. couldn't take a break without smashing it though. No, nope. <laughs> I, I swear to God, dude, if it's there, like I'm gonna play it. Yeah. For twelve I'm, hours. A day. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just gonna happen. I like the so. shoes, Phil. Thanks. But no, I feel you. Like I just I, I just thought that was the funniest shit. I ever. told Gil I'll give him the hundred bucks back if he goes to the gym twice a week for a month. So not a bad trade off. Yeah. yeah. You know? Just pushing each other with, uh, you know, I, with yeah, threats. I like that. I like that. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a good. That's a holding good, money over your head. Exactly. So you just said, Tap, and then you Tap. shot put it in. Exactly. Yeah. So now it's now you just have this hundred dollar bill like on the on the fridge. Now it's whoever who, whoever does their yeah, best. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like a bribe, or you know, it's m- money's a motivator. You know, yeah, it definitely is. It is true. The last time, so just yeah. mad threats till one person stops, so one person gets the hundred dollars. Yeah. It's just floating in limbo the whole time. <laughs> but if you do this, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. The, the, I'll it's give like, you back yeah, the side. Well, you just keep exchanging the, uh, those on. videos where they go like, you won't do that right now, and the dude jumps off a cruise ship. <laughs> oh my god! Like, that yeah. I, yeah, that, that is lady for actually and then so stupid. Ass. Could you imagine being that dumb to jump off a cruise ship? No, they have to. Stop well, you might the whole land op- in the water, but like the whole operation and get a, and get a ski do up back. That's what I mean. And now you're just like, bye, <laughs> bye, <laughs> bye. You realize, you realize bye. how long it would. I don't think they, like, they don't turn around. No, you no, know how they long don't. it? Did they <laughs> yeah. had their call oh, we, the Coast Guard? oh, we got one off. We got <laughs> one off. Let's either, tickle your turn. They either call the Coast Guard or there's a guy coming out of the back in a jet ski to come get you. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah it meant, one of the two. Just, dun, 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 no, dun, they oh, have comes out of a smaller. Do you mean boat, to tell me that, that multi-million music? dollar cruise ship does not have things and stops in places? Now they say fuck it and they do. We sorry, we don't make returns. In the country, like they're not. The ship's leaving. They said okay, bye. Like the cricket wireless. I'm sure there's there's things in place. To, to prevent dude, that. You get caught in other countries sometimes, like you're. Screwed. Oh my God, bro! Your Facts. Yeah, dude, you lose your passport in another country, like you could be screwed. Um, Phil, how about you, the people you that missed the dancing and the fried chicken and donuts? Oh, he'll see. like this. You get a guy coming off the back of the boat like this. Larry, the the boss is coming. Jake, yeah. boss. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Living like Larry. <laughs> Die another day, James Bond. Dude, that shit was December so 1991. 007. Golden Eye. Oh my god. Real trap shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Yo, I was gonna fucking last night speaking of money as a motivator, Matt's little prop bet that he had. Oh yeah. Dude, so funny. So Matt has a uh he just got a Trey Young card, rookie card for uh the guy who plays for the Hawks. He got a perfect ten back and he's looking to sell it. No way. And so this so he's was looking at net about three thousand dollars for this card. Insane. Insane. Where did, where did he get the card? Bought it off some guy for four hundred bucks. Sent it in to get graded, came back a perfect ten, selling it for three grand. So he he this guy's looking for a, a, this specific card, and Matt hits him up and he goes, "Let's make a deal." Last night Trey Young is playing. He goes, "If Trey Young scores more than thirty points, you pay me three thousand dollars. If he scores less than thirty points, you pay me twenty eight hundred dollars." And the guy goes, "I fucking love it, dude." <laughs> so they're literally like degenerate gambling over this game, and so we're watching the game. And Trey Young's coming down to the wire at like 28 points, and he gets fouled, goes to the line, hits first free throw for 29, misses for 30, and we're like freaking out, dude. Like, it's only 200 bucks. Either way, this kid's getting $2,800. That's still a nice little wager. Oh, dude. And and so finally, he gets like a a fire layup, and you just see Matt just like, fuck (laughs) you. But like, dude, money's a motivator. Yeah, I mean, either way, you're getting $2,800 for a piece of cardboard. It's insane. Mike, yeah, that's wild. Phil, while I have you on the podcast, as we're doing the um, the skit with uh, Blaze of the Colonel, I had an idea of you doing like a 
like a mock commercial of like a sham wow commercial but instead of, of a sham wow it's like for my and you just like are a yeah, info an info I'm commercial. robert jenkins part two. Oh my god yeah i'll do it i'll do it we're, we're nice gonna backdrop. hold you to that phil. Need a nice polo? phil we're gonna hold you to that piece hi i'm phil Bo. do you need the colonel on as a supporting role <laughs> you need yeah. the colonel to come on in a supporting role yeah dude absolutely <laughs> Yeah. Crossover. You could have a crossover. <laughs> Linking the two. My Binky and and then, you know, the Colonel. Maybe some Abbott and Costello type shit. Who? I don't even know what that is. Who's on? Abbott who's, and Costello? Who's on first? Who's on first? Oh, yeah, what's yeah, on yeah. second? <laughs> Aren't they magicians? I don't know who's on third. <laughs> no, I have no idea. Who, I know I know the joke. What is I, the first baseman's I, name? What is the first baseman's name? Who? No, no, no. Who, who's on who's first on and what first? is the first baseman's name? Oh, I thought who was his name. No, who's, no, on, who's first? on first? What's on second? Oh, what? Oh. What's I don't know. Is on, I don't know. Is on third. Well, what about um, them? Is this like a pronoun thing? Or? No, it's not a pronoun. Uh, who's on? Th- it's who is the, on first? Is the guy who's running the bases and is no, the on guy the first who plays base? first base is who? Yeah, and the guy, and the guy who plays second, second base, base is, is what? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so and what's the third, third baseman's name? I don't know. And the third third baseman's name is Listen. No, I don't know. The third <laughs> baseman's what? name is <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what's the catcher's name? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, but up, but oh, oh, but up. Shut up, Phil. Oh, so how's it? How's we'll the turkey looking, please? I mean, Burke. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. So right now we are we are waiting for a a Christmas feast. A Mer- fat turkey. By the way, Mer- I mean, happy holidays to everybody. Happy Merry Christmas. Apparently, it's Boxing Day. I don't know what the absolute yeah, fucking it's boxing. It's I should throw hands with Phil. The colonel should throw hands with Phil. No, I think Boxing Day is like Canadian Christmas. Like uh, for some reason, Canadians just like to do Canadian Thanksgiving and Canadian fucking yeah, this shit because they're special. And they have free healthcare. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why. <laughs> they go, oh yeah, because they're like, yeah, oh, fuck, I can do whatever Let's I just want. make up all the holidays. Stuff my face. I can't wait to eat that food though. I ate that ramen and I'm like, oh wow, I need these food. Yo, hold on, we have to talk about one thing about the ramen. Why the fuck did you put barbecue sauce in your ramen? Bro, barbecue sauce? What kind of ramen? Just regular ramen. Chicken ramen, and he and he and he's, bro, and he's bro, like looking in what, the thick. You take the ramen and then take some pulled pork and put it in there with some scallions. You got a nice uh, pho bowl. A Is nice uh, Asian fusion. An Asian fusion. I'm big on Asian fusion. I wish there was more Asian fusion joints that were like nice. Dude, or just um, Asian fusion. All right, oh, yeah. Asian fusion top three. Let- <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even name three. Dragon Palace, I guess. That's Asian know. fusion, is or that, is that just Asian? I don't know what that is. That's no new idea. in our house. Hibachi's fire, dude. Um, Hibachi's yeah, bomb. Building. I like Hibachi when the dude's guy. doing the egg, and he tosses it in his hat, but he still uses the same egg to cook your food with. <laughs> you're like, all right. Damn, bro, that's whatever. gross. <laughs> whatever, it's your fucking sweaty-ass head. <laughs> and then people just all getting all shot in their yeah. uvula with the fucking yeah, bro, uh, sake or whatever Hold on. Go for a birthday. Oh, sir, I don't want the vodka. Ah. <laughs> you just spr- unloading on it, <laughs> bro. And pu- people are such like, <laughs> sir, please. Oh, please stop. No, I don't. I, 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 I don't normally do this. Why is he? T- <laughs> why is he talking like that? Yo, uh, did you, what is it, Jim Gaffigan? Why is he talking yeah. like that? Uh, no, That's dude. That's absurd. But, but, but people, people like they, they people get so- actually like that vodka. They get really uptight when they go there. Like no one wants to have a good time when you're out Bro, there. It's like your birthday. I went to um I went to a hibachi with with Haley, and we're we're out there and we have full table. You know everyone's there. We have ourselves a scorpion bowl. Fire, love a good Fire. scorpion bowl. And the yes. guy's coming around with the sake, and he goes starts on this end. I'm on the other end. Goes all the way around the table, and no one wants to do it. And so I go, let's go, fuck it. And I'm just sitting there, ah, just eating it, and I'm and, I'm, and like kept going, kept going, just kept going, kept it. going, and I'm and all these people are like, oh my god, like freaking out, and I was the only dude. You can have fun when you're out yeah, there. You can't care right. who's you also sit with random fucking people. I think yeah. that's weird as fuck. It yeah. is weird. It you is. Should I have the glass listen, dividers up now. No, fuck that. But I I don't disagree that it's weird. But like. Live a little bit. Who cares who who's sitting across from That's you, dude? True. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. And so he's, you know, I, because I was the one to do the sake, when he flips the vegetables, I was, he, he's like like my guy. We got a connection now. He gave you some this extra guy. veggies on the side. No, but he's... He An does extra the, shrimp or two? He yeah, does the oh, flip, yeah. you know, and like, now you got to catch can it. Can we talk about that, the sauce that they cook the shrimp in? Yeah, the gi- the the ginger sauce. Oh <laughs> Just, my lord. I wish we could serve that. At, I wish we could serve <laughs> that. At, I wish we could serve that at KFC in the packets. <laughs> we we 
um, you know, I got I some. Roll that out I'll, I'll I've, been, I've, been, I've been, I've been, you know, big in stocks lately. I'm, I'm trying to get some KFC stocks, some Home Depot stocks. No, no, you can't get. Brands. It'd be Yum Brands. Uh, yeah. No, no, I'm just saying. Um, but I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm it's funny it. that that's we, a thing, though. We. Do you know who I am? Yeah. Yeah, do you yeah, know? I'm the colonel. I own it. <laughs> I'm the fucking colonel. Isn't it funny, though, that um, Yum Brands, like, obviously they own Taco Bell and KFC, so they're just like, you know what? Throw them both in the same one. Um, I want a, I want a, I want my five-layer, beefy, beefy five-layer burrito, my Crunchwrap Supreme, and a side of, like, three biscuits. <laughs> yeah. Can we and talk three about, legs, uh, no thighs. Yeah, yeah, no thighs. Who's your favorite stand-up comic? Um... I have a lot. I mean, I, a, I, I was just saying Jim Gaffigan, of course. Are you choosing one? Are there. you choosing one? No, I mean, Jim Gaffigan, uh, a couple. Who's Jim, your Who's, who's your top three? Let's, oh, sorry. Yeah, All right, let's do it. Mike. Top threes. We're doing top threes. Uh, Real quick before we do this. In the comments, list your top three fast foods and your top three comedians. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'd have to say a person that's had me literally bent over, like hurt, got hurt, mm-hmm. is... Uh, Early injured freaking, watching uh, a fucking yeah. special. <laughs> I'm trying to think of broken his name. ribs. Early, early stuff. Um, I'd have to say early. Um, crap, what's it? Chris Rock? Okay. Oh, okay. No, Chris Rock or um, Chappelle? I'm sorry. Oh, did, oh yeah. Early yeah. Chappelle, I mean, bro. Some that's early, a yeah. Some bro, but some early Chappelle is like, if you do that shit today, he he he, he does he, do he, that shit today. No, yeah, he I he still does. I'm saying his early shit is like very over the top, like. If you put that on now for a crowd. Who would you say top three? Are you so saying Chappelle, Dave Chappelle? Chappelle one, um, Gaffigan two because I okay. just love Gaffigan. Hot three, pocket. Um, yeah, dude, bro. All oh, that's an all time. I can't like. Um, it. number three, I'd have to say. Um, I don't know. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Brian Regan. Wow. No, uh, he he he. Um, oh, Gabriel Iglesias. Oh yeah. Actually oh, fluffy. Funny. Yeah. Dude, his the voices he does to some shit. Like yeah. he does like the cop. Oh, oh, yeah. he yeah. he does do really good impression voices. I I did forget about that. Uh, but yeah, that's my three. Who would you say, Mike? I could probably guess, but oh, dude, I forgot about uh, what's his name? Honorable mention. Um, real big. Uh, oh, Ralphie May. Yeah, that you him. Meant, he, he, I don't think he meant physically. Him and uh, no. <laughs> oh well, R.I.P. Ralphie May. Yeah. Oh. Dude, like really cocky, looks like uh, he was in the movie. Um, super generic. He was in the movie uh, with the Superstore and Jessica Simpson. Oh, Dane Cook. He was kind of funny. He's all not, right. Not, he's all right. Okay. I'm gonna go Sebastian Maniscalco. <sighs> You don't know Bro. who Sebastian Maniscalco is? Yeah, Aziz Ansari, too. Oh, yeah. Me. Oh. Wow. I don't know if you can say that anymore. But, um, no, you can. He he was uh, he, he didn't do it. All right, word. Um, <laughs> he didn't do it. No, he didn't. You, that was the whole thing. He didn't do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I do like oh, him. Oh, bro, I'm sorry. Rob Williams. Well, that's a, that's, that's, yeah, that, he's yeah, in he's, another category. He's, yeah, he's in the Michael Jordan category. I'm going to have to go Sebastian Maniscalco. <sighs> Bert Kreischer. Over time? Uh, recently, yes. Yeah, okay. His stand-up. Like, I do like Tom's dry hu- humor, but sometimes it just doesn't hit me the same. That's fair. Um. Maybe Joey Diaz? I don't know. Yeah. I just haven't seen a lot of his stand-up. Stand he doesn't up. have a lot of material. Yeah, stand-up like, stand-up, I, you know, I'd probably go, like, Brian, mine would be, like, Brian Regan. He's gets me every fucking time. Mm. Bill Burr is really good yeah, at stand-up. Yeah, he's funny as fuck. Yeah, and I, I, and you know me, I, I'm, I, I'm a dry humor guy yeah. all the time, so I'm going to go Tom, but yeah. Tom Segura definitely for sure. Word. What time are we have for that? I, I only say because the other night I, you know, got tired of Netflix. So I've been watching a lot of um, a lot of The Office, which is sadly oh. parting parting ways from Netflix. I'm Crazy, so right, dude? I'm so pissed. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have, have to go get, out and buy them all. Get the, the, and the just box watch set. them every night. Watch put what we're on. My favorite season, I'd have to say. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I don't know that distinctly. On you guys, throughout the whole show, I didn't realize that the guy behind the camera actually appears in a certain episode, or like the sound guy. Really? Or, yeah, and like talks to Pam about. Oh. Something. I didn't realize that the whole show, yes, is geared towards comedy and Michael at first, and then like Jim and Pam and uh, yeah. Dwight and Angela, whatever. I'm sorry, I'm ruining the show for some of you. If you have, hold on, if you haven't seen the office, seen yet, the office Jesus show, Christ, shut your, shut your shit off. Um, yeah, sh- what I get at is finish this episode. The then whole go watch Jim the and Pam thing. There's a season towards the very end, like where he proposes her, and then like after they go through some rough shit, and then they have the daughter. 
Mm-hmm. And, you know... This is your favorite part of the office? No, bro. This is a comedy no, podcast I'm, and a comedy show. You feel like a part of it? Listen, I feel like a part of it towards the end. And I, yeah. ne- I watched it through once and yeah. thought it was just about the office. Yeah. I didn't realize that there was another European version based upon it. No, no, that's no. The original. That's the original. Or, or, or that's the original. One. And then the original one of that and, is from Japan. And all of the shit in it is like transferred through different artists and different people. <laughs> when you get to the end of it and you go back and watch it, the whole Jim and Pam relationship is dope, which yeah, is not is. what I was it most is. liked about it. What I most liked about it when everybody forgets about it is they have the, the wedding at the end. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Again, the wedding if you haven't at seen the office, go fuck yourself. For Angela and Dwight. And Michael comes yes. and is the best man. Yeah, so fire. So, or whatever. So fire. Fire. And that part, I get choked up on now so that it's cute, leaving yes. Netflix, bro. Yes. And I'm like this. Yeah. yeah. And then at the very end, they're doing the review with Erin, and her mom is asking for her daughter after she hasn't seen her all these years, and that's dope. The last one is that Creed is sitting in the fucking audience sitting there just laughing and crying and that's what i think about yeah. <laughs> when it comes back to fucking the crazy. office leaving netflix that's that's my that's my little thing on the on the office all right and phil this is a good this is a good point that. for you to come in okay. um blaze so obviously if you've watched the podcast or you know anything about the podcast we have a segment on the, at the end of every episode called song of the week okay um phil I love Phil. Phil has great song suggestions, so I feel like this would be a really good one for Phil to be in on. Do you have a song that you've been listening to recently you'd like to put everyone on to? If you need to think uh, about it, don't worry about it. We can. No, we can. Let me get my phone out. All right, Mike. Do you have one really quick? Um, I do. I'm gonna go. Uh, you know, Chef G. Anyone know who Chef G is over here? No, and I honestly thought that that was Polo G, and that it was just a nickname. Chef G. Turn that down real quick. Uh-huh. Okay, Chef go ahead. Chef G. I'm gonna go with. No, can't play it. Lights on by Chef G. Okay, off his new album. Proud of me now. All right. Um, I'm gonna go. Have we have we done anything off the the future and Baby Pluto album? Yeah, probably. Drinking and smoking. I yeah, think we have. All right. Um, I'm gonna go with the song I was playing earlier, International Players Anthem, yeah. um, by UGK, but uh, obviously featuring um, Outcast. Mm-hmm. That's just like, holy shit, what a good song. So, International Players Anthem by UGK. I don't know. So, I, I, I was listening to some music on the way over. Naturally. One of them might take the cake. And it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like funky, like upbeat, uh, like electronic. Yeah. Something it's you called, want. To... It's called Her Movie by Else. Okay. How do you spell Else? E-L-S-E. Okay. Or Else, whatever. However you say that. But I don't know my for the whole week. It's I like whatever, whatever, whatever you want to put them onto. It's yeah. the song of the week for the whole week. I mean, I like Lemonade, Internet Money, Gunna. Mm. Oh, okay. That's fire. Uh, don't need friends. Nav, little baby, and Adderall by Pop Hunna. Classic. Corvette, Corvette. Yeah. Corvette, Corvette. Like, is my my audio so, yeah, still that, coming through on the, there? Yeah, you're good. Three. No, it's fine. I just want to make sure I hit it once or twice. Um, so. I'd have to say mine. Um, first one, due, due to you know Corona and everything going on, and you know we all live these fast lives. Uh, it's a song called "Fast" by Juice World. Oof! Great wow. song. We're gonna have to listen to that after this, bro. The yeah. way it starts. I, uh, recently, Gibby showed me a song called "Gucci Bucket Hat" yeah. on Spotify. That gave me. The <laughs> He's been bugging too. about that one. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, and so I, give me song of the week, but Gucci Bucket So I guess you say Fast by Juice World, and then I have to say... You get one song of the week. It's no, not songs. No. I'm, oh. I'm just kidding. I'm Phil just kidding. did what, What's the next one? No, I know. What's um, and then I'd have to say... Um, so Fast, and then I'd have to say... You have to show me. Uh, Art of Peer Pressure by Kendrick. What? Hold on, hold on. Art of Peer Pressure by Kendrick. It's a very good one. All right. Word. And um, I'm going to have to say... You already did two. It's all right. No, I want one more. Um, it's uh, a Kid Cudi song. Temptations. Oh. With Ty Dolla Sign. Good song. Bro, one of my favorite songs. Oh, um, camera. So that's it. All right, word. Well, Blaze, if you could pick up the mic one more time. For oh, He's just changing the camera. So w- w- for old time's sake, as we wrap up the podcast, could you give us one more uh, kernel quote? 
My my my, fa- my favorite commercial right now is, look, melting ca- melting kernel brought us a big fa- high piping hot meal with all the fixins. <laughs> Could you give us one more quote? The colonel's got a bucket for everyone tonight. That's finger looking good. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, uh, hey, hey yo, or, uh, fried, chicken. fried chicken. Oh KFC, get it in a box or on a sandwich. Fried donuts, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Saying Papa B and Papa. Saying Boo. Papa B and saying Papa Booey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do the do that, but we're going to Bridge. No, no. <laughs> we'll record um, that. But that's it, folks. Hold on. That's it for today. Before you leave, Come obviously back make sure to like, make what sure to subscribe. I don't even know what Blaze is saying. Don't we just said, make sure you subscribe to our page. Make sure you hit that bell. And absolutely smash that like button. Next week. Phil, anything? Um, Joe, anything? Oh, Joe, you got to come on. You you don't want to come on with the- Friends Podcast. Podcast, podcast. All right. That's episode 52. Peace. Peace.